uh, showing you my very, very low budget. I mean, cheap is possibly the cheapest you could probably get. Uh, my very cheap bug out uh, prepper uh, shit hits the fan uh, scenario where I would need to have this. So, first of all, I'll go through some things. I do live in Canada, which restricts me on my guns I can use, my magazine uh, limits. Uh, a lot of things, a laws are very different from Americans. We have, we don't have concealed carry, we don't have open carry. Basically, all the fun elements of firearms are very restricted in Canada, as opposed to Americans. So you're going to see some differences in the things that I do have and what I don't have because I'm Canadian and I'm a law-abiding citizen um, so I don't want to break the law and go to jail for 10 years. So first of all I will go through some of my firearms that I might or might not be using. So if I do end up using uh, what I plan to do it will be something like this. It'll be an SKS. Five rounds in the magazine because of our Canadian gun laws. Um, so, Russian SKS, not much to say. I mean, it is pretty heavy. Of my loadout, this is pretty budgetary. And one of these in Canada, you can get it for about 200 bucks. Uh, any higher than that, it could be a better grade one, but honestly, for a good $200, this is an amazing gun. Um, let's see. So it is unloaded, just so you guys know. I don't have loaded firearms. Uh, that is illegal, by the way, in Canada. You can't have a loaded firearms in your house. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I do have a five shell holder right here. And I do have the SKS or 7.62 by 39, whatever you, you want to call it, bandolier right here. And uh, so that's my gun. So now I'm going to go through my gear. So first off, I do have a regular baseball cap. I do have a mask. Too. I have an old Austrian uh, military surplus uh, BDU field shirt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's nice. I do also have a wool one, which is extremely warm in the winter. That I can just throw on over this if I get cold. Uh, and I do have an SKS bandolier or 7.62 or any, it doesn't matter, it's just a bandolier that holds 180 stripper clips, I mean 180 rounds on stripper clips. Very accessible. Uh, I just have regular cargo pants, not going to show you my pants because they're just cargo pants. Um, that's pretty much it. And I have rubber boots on because wet feet uh, is not it's terrible and I can run in these boots too if I do end up using not an SKS I will not have this bandolier on instead I will have this shotgun bandolier on and I'll be having a mass Mossberg Maverick 88 in 12 gauge now if they do end up banning um, banning semi-automatic uh, guns which they which could very well possibly happen in Canada. It's going through a process. It's called Bill C-71. If they do end up banning semi-automatic, as a law-abiding citizen, I will turn to my SKS because I'm a law-abiding citizen. You may be different, but it's just the way I am. It's the way I was raised. Um, anyway, so the last thing that any, any government would ever ban is a shotgun because it's just the way that they are, I guess. You know, it's a shotgun. There's not much else to say. I mean, you use for pretty much hunting only and target practice. But one thing that I do need to get, though, is buckshot and slugs. However, I am very broke, so it's expensive for me. So all I have right now is about 1,700 rounds in target ammunition for shotguns. Now, in Canada, it's about $65 for a box of 250 uh, shotgun shells. I don't know what that would be in American money, but it's about that. So it's not bad to shoot. 
And, uh, yeah. What I also could be wearing is... I'll show you in a second here. I just have it on the table. Is, uh... Woodland... Woodland BDUs. They're very cheap here in Canada. You can also get Canadian military surplus stuff, but it's a little bit more expensive. Um... Let's see what else I can show you. Also, you could end up using something like this, like a vest that you would see an airsoft player wear. Something like this. Like that. Uh, I use this at the range. I have my own little range. It's not really a range, it's more of the woods. <laughs> but I made it into a range. Um, because honestly, I don't trust other people with firearms, so I'd rather be by myself. Um, Anyway, this is the thing that I have. I, can, I'll, I also sometimes use it for airsoft. It's almost like paintball, but with plastic BBs instead. Uh, so I could use this. Very breathable. But the setup I have right now, and I'm trying to show you guys how low budget you can really get. So I'm going to go down on the prices of what everything I have on, plus my firearm. So the firearm in Canada. $200 I got it for. That was a couple years ago though, so prices have gone down a little bit uh, as of um, this video. So if it's gone up, I'm sorry it sucks, but I do know SKS is in, in America, uh, United States. They uh, are a little way more pricey, they're like $500, $500 American, so that's about $750 Canadian-ish around there. Um, because of the, I believe, Narenko banned, um, like, a Russian banning. I don't know about American laws, but they, they banned some imports of the gun or the company that made it. And, uh, anyway. Yeah, so, I just have a baseball cap. This is basically free because you probably should have a baseball cap somewhere in your house. Someone you know has a baseball cap. Uh, or whatever you want to wear, this is just what I'm showing you as an example. I have a face mask. This did cost about fifty dollars uh, from SA Company. They're like a fishing company. I also fish. If you guys want to see some of those videos? You can, you know, tell me if you want to see it or not. Um, but yeah, very nice, very breathable. Uh, um, it's, it's a great deal, really. You can do. These are amazing. I have an Australian BDU. I think that was $30 Canadian. So, um, yeah. SKS Bandolier, $15. So shirt, plus the bandolier, plus the gun. If the gun is around $200, we're looking at, let's say, $245 plus pants. Pants, honestly, you can wear whatever the fuck you want. Uh, you can wear jeans, uh, cargo pants. You probably have cargo pants somewhere. So I'm just going to say that there's no price on those because you probably already have them. And boots, not everyone has good boots. What I recommend is waterproof boots. Better yet, even rubber boots. If you could run in those boots, good. If you can't, don't fucking wear them because it might need to run. Uh, tactical boots are nice and all, but if you need to get your feet wet, and if you're running with uh, wet feet all the time, you can't dry them, you're gonna get trench foot, just like in World War I. Um, sucks way it is. That's why I have rubber boots. Also, what I was talking about earlier, I do have a wool version of this shirt. Uh, that ran me probably about 30 bucks as well. So, we're looking at, I don't know, maybe about 270 right now. Um, 275. And the rounds, the shotgun rounds, SKS rounds, they're gonna vary wherever you are in the country or whatever countries you live in. Uh, so yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This is just a very, very, like, extremely low budget loadout. And I did not include any of the gear besides defensive equipment. Like, you know, like knives. You're probably gonna have a knife. Um, you know, a flashlight. Like, all that stuff, like food, water. I didn't include that because this is purely just a loadout video. And a guy holding a gun in Canada is very, very uncommon. Guns in Canada, they're not talked about as much as often as they should be. And when they are talked about, they're talked about very negative to, negatively 
as they're killing machines, anyone that has one just wants to kill people. And, uh, yeah, people are very libertarian in this country. Sad to say, but it's the way it is. And, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Rambled on it a little bit. But uh, I like to talk in these videos, just, you know, give my opinion out there. If you don't like my opinion, you can hit the dislike button or just not watch them. Um, you know, I'm not one to say, you know, subscribe, like, and share. Because honestly, I, that gets really fucking annoying when people say that every single video you watch. I don't give a fuck. I really like making these videos, and I hope I make more. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to tell people about what you think. And, uh, yeah, you can switch up loader how you want. This is just a very, very, very low budget. Now I'm talking, like, if you're broke fucking, like, if you're near to homeless, you could probably afford this.